Strong VPN guide, how to auto-connect PPTP, L2TP, SSTP, IKF2 VPN on Windows 10. Note, this tutorial was made on Windows 10, but it is tested and compatible for Windows XP, Vista, 7 and 8 as well. Because the steps are very similar. Step 1, be sure that you have already set up PPTP slash L2TP slash SSTP slash IKF2 VPN connection. After setup, please make sure that your VPN connection is working, connect it and then disconnect. Step 2, 1, for Windows XP, click the start button and go to control panel. Double click on network connections. You will find VPN connection. If your control panel looks different, try going to network and internet connections and check network connections icon there. 2, for Windows Vista, find the network connections icon in the bottom right corner of the screen, near the clock. The icon is in the shape of two computer displays next to each other. Right click on that icon and select network and sharing center. You can also get there by going through start button control panel view network status and tasks. After that click on manage network connections to find your VPN connection. 3, for Windows 7, find the network connections icon in the bottom right corner of the screen, near the clock. The icon can be in the shape of computer display or wireless signal meter. Right click on that icon and select open network and sharing center. You can also get there by going through start button control panel view network status and tasks. After that click on change adapter settings to find your VPN connection. 4, for Windows 8 and Windows 10, find the network connections icon in the bottom right corner of the screen, near the clock. The icon can be in the shape of computer display or wireless signal meter. Right click on that icon and select open network and sharing center. After that click on change adapter settings to find your VPN connection. Step 3, once you have located your VPN connection, right click on it and select properties. You will see the properties window as on pictures below. For Windows XP, Vista, and 7 go to options and uncheck display progress while connecting, prompt for name and password, certificates, etc. and include Windows logon domain. Click OK. For Windows 8 and 10 go to options and check remember my credentials. Click OK. Step 4, open notepad. You can find it in the start menu. For Windows XP start accessories notepad. Step 5, input the following line. RAS dial strong VPN username password. Hint, username and password are credentials that you get from the customer area when doing VPN setup tutorial. Please notice, connection name strong VPN is one that we used in the manual VPN connection setup tutorial. If your VPN connection name differs, you need to input yours, that you used when doing setup. Step 6, now you need to save it as a batch file. To do this on the left top of the window select file save as. File name can be any you like, but it should end with .bat. For example, autovpn.bat save it on your desktop. Click save. Step 7, press Win plus R combination on the keyboard. Hint, Win is the key with Windows logo on it, or is letter R. In the appeared window write down shell startup, without quotes. Click OK. It will open startup folder. Do not close it. Step 8, move the bat file, which you made in step 6, to startup folder at C colon backslash users backslash username backslash appdata backslash roaming backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash start menu backslash programs backslash startup. Note, you may need to make hidden items appear temporarily. Step 9, restart your computer. Check if the VPN is connected.